Today, U.S. Marines flying in forces to beef up security around the embassy and to help evacuate non-essential staff. The situation on the ground is becoming increasingly violent as armed gangs attempt to topple the government, leaving innocent people, including some Americans, in the crossfire. Here's ABC's Matt Rivers. Tonight, with Haiti on the verge of collapse, the U.S. military evacuated non-essential embassy personnel overnight, choppering in Marines to reinforce the embassy. The State Department urging Americans to leave as gangs launched coordinated attacks across the country against the presidential palace and the interior ministry, multiple police stations set on fire, gang soldiers showing off stolen flak jackets. The government now extending a state of emergency and Caribbean leaders calling an emergency meeting Monday for what they call a, quote, dire situation. And tonight, ABC News speaking to the man behind it all, gang leader Jimmy Cherissier, known as Barbecue. He says the first step in the fight is to overthrow Ariel Henry, and then we start the real fight against the corrupt oligarchs and politicians. The unelected U.S.-backed Henri took charge when President Jovenel Moïse was assassinated two and a half years ago. Poverty, violence, and hunger soaring on his watch. Now even the U.S. pressuring him to step aside. Barbecue is Haiti's most notorious gang leader, a former police officer responsible for an explosion of violence. Even if Henri steps down, it's not clear who takes over or when new elections would take place. In the meantime, hospitals closed. Thousands of criminals have been freed. Access to food or clean water increasingly scarce. Ordinary Haitians, innocent people, suffering. 